Okay, so we're just going to show how quick and easy you can create the app in Blink. For our hardware example, we have an LED connected to digital pin 7 on our Ethernet enabled board, which is our Freetronics Ether 10. Very quality product. Now, moving back to the app, create a new project, give it a name, use the board type. That's the authorization code or auth key. And you should email that to yourself as I've just done there, because you'll need that to insert into the Arduino sketch. Now we can create that. Add a button, move it down there, open the button properties, you can give the button a name, change the colour of the button. Ah, there's my email from Blink with your author code. And then we select which pin it's going to control, digital pin 7. Click continue. Here we can change whether the button is momentary or on off. So I'll set it as on off. We're happy with those settings. Click back. There we go. Now we would normally go away, get the Arduino sketch, insert the auth key, upload the sketch to the board, come back, hit play. Now the app is operating. Now I've just come back from the PC to upload the Arduino sketch with our authorization key. Now we're happy with the app set up, we hit play. Now the app is running, hopefully it's connected to the server. If I press the button, LED goes on, LED goes off. And there we go, we can edit that. We'll change it to momentary. Go back, run the app. Now it's momentary. Now the latency or speed of control is going to depend on the connection that you're using. Currently I'm using a Telstra 3G connection. Again it will depend on what you're using at the time. But again that shows how easy it is with Blink. So thanks for watching.